practice video of talking about the overhaul of the transmission on the Granada. The 1979 Ford C4 automatic transmission. As I was putting my parts together, the thing that I figured that I had to pay attention to, or that I learned I had to pay attention to, was the bell housing, uh, the flywheel and its bolt pattern. Uh, the internals were the same from year to year. Um, along the way you'll see that I'll be prepping this uh, with a performance package and a shift kit. These are the parts that I will be using. I chose the B&M Trans Kit 50231. You'll see in a moment why I chose that. The torque converter that I was able to get and to use was by TCI. It features a 2000 RPM stall. The bolt pattern in my case is 11.4 and some change inches. As far as the other hardware, you can see that I went with the deep B&M. Uh, gives me two uh, extra quarts of transmission fluid. I'm going to replace all the bushings inside the transmission along with all of the thrust washers. You can see that I got the Performance Automatic Pro Shift servo. And the book also recommended I replace the low servo, or excuse me, the reverse servo as well. The B&M Trans Kit also comes with the shift kit. All the clutches and steels and everything I need to overhaul the transmission, even with a new throttle valve. I'll be using B&M uh, trans fluid along with the assembly and the uh, running of the transmission. Over here are a few select items. Number one is the book that I chose to use for this process. I've read it about a hundred times just to make sure I had an idea of what was going on. It goes through complete disassembly, but this area here is in particular why I chose the B&M Trans uh, kit, because it's what the man used in the book. And you can see some performance uh, pieces as well. Here's a few select tools that you may need along the way to make the job better for yourself. And I'm going to release the camera here. Number one, I also got a new flex plate using B&M uh, brand there. Uh, new uh, fasteners to attach it to the crankshaft from ARP. Aside from normal tools, you're going to need a selection of picks. This is the only... Uh, snap ring plier I had so I bought a universal set hopefully that'll be uh, good as well a sanding block to make sure the servo uh, surfaces are flat I guess uh, that's important for leak free operation here are some other um, sealants and gaskets and thread lockers that we'll be using along with transmission assembly lube um, I chose the blue because uh, I guess you can tell if it's uh, trans fluid leaking or just if that was the case during reassembly. I didn't have crap for feeler gauges so I went ahead and invested in a new feeler gauge set. These likely will be the ones I'll be checking for end play and for the clutch packs to make sure that they're built correctly. I also did not have a uh, bushing installation kit. I got this off of Amazon uh, using a gift certificate so I should be able to replace uh, all or most of the bushings with that. Uh, also in a transmission, you don't want to be beating on the items with a steel hammer. This was my ancient plastic hammer that I had, so I had Home Depot upgraded to a little heavier duty one uh, to make sure I can get the governor in there correctly and seated properly. For cleaning the objects, I went with an alumina, Aluma Prep in an Aladine solution. These are water soluble and what it will do is prep the aluminum surface after I clean it and then the alodyne is like a um, primer if you will it's used in aircraft uh, components since a layer of primer is heavier than treating the aluminum and allowing uh, paint to stick to the aluminum surface with that 
I've used that on a few parts along the way and I'll use this uh, on the bell housing case and tail shaft. A couple other special tools that one might need are the uh, inch and foot pound torque wrenches to make sure you got proper torque. I'll be painting the case of the transmission black so I'll be using uh, a chassis black and then the bell housing I'll still keep a uh, aluminum color. So at the end of the day you might ask yourself what's all this for? Am I saving any money? And a uh, quick uh, pencil and paper says yes. Um, on average if I were to buy a C4 with a performance rebuild just the C4 trans by itself without bell housing would run anywhere from 900 to 1500 bucks which would put it at, at an average of around 1250 we'll say you can see just going with the pan the torque converter wouldn't be included uh, the, uh, um, the flex plate and bolts and fluid and other incidentals at the end of the day uh, I'm sure I'm saving 500 bucks on the minimum uh, maybe even more if it works if it doesn't work, well then, I've spent a lot of money on tools and equipment for nothing. <laughs>